can't control the plane. Do something. You've got to pull us out of this. Hey guys, welcome back to another Marine Boy Overview episode and today we are looking at episode 4 of season 1 which is Dangerous Starfish. Now I don't know about you guys but when I think of starfish the word dangerous is not the first thing that pops into my head. Maybe with sharks, jellyfish, sea urchins, that kind of stuff I think, hmm, danger yes, but starfish? Really? I'm not so sure on that one. Anyway, remember guys, that there will be spoilers in this, and as ever, I don't own Marine Boy, it's owned by Warner Archive, so if you want to see any of these episodes, just go and check them out, buy a DVD, there's three seasons, it's definitely worth it, trust me. And well, let's go ahead and see what happens in this episode, shall we? Let's go! seen so many starfish in one place before. Oh, come on, Marine boy. This is no time to be gazing at starfish. But first, I'll take my oxygum. <gasps> Calling airship X-13. Who can that be? No, it's too late to do anything. I order you to blow up the X-13 with a remote control self-explosive. Every bit of evidence must be destroyed. Now do it immediately. Well, you heard what Stella Dean said. I'll push the remote control explosive button and destroy the X-13. Only we knew more about them. It's another mystery of the ocean. Yes, son. It certainly is. One of the many mysteries the sea holds for us. And the duty of the Ocean Patrol is to protect everyone from any danger that might be in those mysteries. Okay, I really liked what the Commander and um, Dr. Mariner were saying there about the Ocean Patrol's duty. And like Marine Boy was saying, there's a lot of mysteries in the ocean and the Ocean Patrol's duty is to protect the people who get involved or wind up within those mysteries. I thought that was pretty cool. Pretty nice little quote there. That's what the Ocean Patrol is. They're not just colonizing the oceans, they're keeping it safe for everyone involved within them. Which I thought was really great. And we've got a bit of a mystery on our hands right now. So, the plane, there's obviously something dodgy about it. Um, you see the bad guys there, we assume they're bad guys transporting our cargo and then they blow it up. Uh, lucky for Moon Boy that the screen was on to warn him of that and they escape. But, yeah. So, how dangerous though, how bad are these starfish that they're transporting? What is it all about? What's the matter? It's one of those starfish. Ah! <laughs> mm, very 
very interesting. I've never seen a virus like this before. Virus, father? Another word for venom or poison from a living creature. This virus is more dangerous than that of a cobra. Some wounded and sick birds are heading for a special island. They are? Uh-huh. It's where they can become well again. Oh! Many wild creatures know places like that. And there must be a special place like that where Splasher can become well again. How freaky was that laughing starfish? <laughs> or whatever it was, I can't do it. But so we know now guys that these starfish in the episode are dangerous because they've been infected with some kind of venom. And Dr. Mariner says they're even more dangerous than a cobra. Now I'm no expert on um, the poisons of cobras, snakes, any creatures really. But surely if there's more dangerous than a cobra, would Splasher be dead from that? I'm glad he's not. We all love Splasher. There he is. The little dolphin. Um, so I decided to do some research. research research of myself on this matter and well I found out that in the ocean there are over 1,500 species of starfish or around about that mark I mean it's amazing things below the surface of the water that you don't know what to say it's a beautiful place you know I'd have to go like snorkeling or grab some oxygen and go when they invent it of course they invent it after watching all these videos right so and also, I did not know that um, starfish, most starfish, not all of them, um, can regenerate damaged parts or lost arms, and they can shed arms as a means of defence. That is pretty awesome, right? Now, on to how dangerous a starfish. I asked Google how dangerous a starfish. And basically, the answer is, there are many species of starfish that are poisonous and even deadly to humans. Great. The crown of thorns, the sun star, the spiny sun star, and the love star are some of them. Their spines are the poisonous parts. Right. So, guys, if you ever go into the waters, just be careful you don't touch the spines of the starfish, because who knows what's going to happen to you. Okay, so also in this clip, we saw that um, Neptina comes along and she says, Oh, yeah, there's a place the animals go to get better, which is great. So it's like us going to the doctors, they go and eat something. It's like, I guess, when cats are ill or something, they go eat some grass. So there is a chance for Splash to get better. <sighs> Good. Should we find out what happens? Hurry up, Professor Fumble! You're taking hours to fix that! There's no need to shout, Bolton. You've got to be more patient. <laughs> Spin the screw. Right. Somebody, somewhere, has raised them artificially. Do you mean, Dr. Mariner, that somebody has grown those terrible starfish purposely? That's just what I mean. And their reasons for doing it cannot be good ones. Whoever's behind those starfish is evil. Splasher, eat this seaweed. It'll make you well again. The starfish are coming home. What? Did you see what I saw? Did you see what I saw? That was a real mermaid. I didn't think there was such a thing. Listen, if we can catch her, we'll make a fortune. <laughs> Yeah. 
Starfish are kept in here by somebody. Ready with the missiles? Fire! My starfish. My starfish are giving up. It worked. You see, gentlemen, I gave the starfish an extract from the seaweed that saved Splasher's life. It counteracts the poison in the starfish and it also stops them from being vicious. And for finding that special seaweed, we owe our thanks to Neptina and Splasher. Well, at least Splasher is saved. Very happy about that. Um, this episode had some pretty cool parts. Um, I liked how Marine Boy was fighting off the starfish using his jet boots again. And Harry did that spin around vortex thing to knock him all the way. And, of course, um, Neptina finds the seaweed for Splash to eat to make him better. And I was waiting for this in the series because with Nept Neptina being, like, the only mermaid you see, um, she's bound to be a target for, like, the enemy. Like, they saw her and it's like, oh my gosh, you see that? It's a mermaid. They're real. So, she's bound to, like, be a target for kidnappers to maybe, like, sell her off for money or something. They could even kidnap her to lure a marine boy into a trap. Yeah. And it turns out then a bad guy was controlling the starfish after all. And did you notice that in his secret base, how the doorway had the logo of a starfish? Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Go back and check it if you didn't see it. Um, yeah. And at the end there as well, um, they didn't kill the starfish, they found a way to cure them, so that was pretty cool as well. Enjoyed that. Um, Dangerous Starfish. Not my favourite episode of the entire series, but it was quite interesting. Seeing Splasher injured for the first time and how they're going to get around that. And it was... It's always nice to see different, like, sea creatures involved. So this is Starfish. Um, who knows what's going to come up in the next episodes. Anyway, I'm just rambling now, so thank you very much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed that, and as ever, remember you can buy the series from Warner Archive. I definitely recommend it, which I've said twice now in this video, so yeah, get to it. Um, also, check out the links below for um, the link to our Marine Boy Live Action Fan Film page, because we are trying to get a um, live action fan film done, and the plans are good. It's all going well. So, thank you for watching guys, and I shall catch you again. Thanks to both of you, we'll never be bothered by poisonous starfish again. Be sure to see the next thrilling adventure of Marine Boy.